In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Kara U200 Smart Door Lock integration and review. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I've been using a Kara U200 for about four months now. And today I'm ready to share my experience and how I got it working perfectly with Home Assistant as well. Let's start with what you actually get inside the box and a quick look at how mounting works. Inside the U200 package you'll find the main U200 smart lock module, then you get the external wireless keypad, mounting plates, which you have two colors, black or silver, you get the screws and alignment stickers, the battery module, and you get the user manual and a quick start guide. But you also get the NVC tag reader in case you get the kit. In this video we will go over the installation, daily use of the door lock, automations and what you should know before buying. This is the most important part. Before we jump in the pairing process, let's go through a quick checklist of what you actually need before buying the Kara U200. Number one, door and cylinder compatibility. This is important. First make sure your door and cylinder are compatible. The U200 is a retrofit lock. It sits on the inside and turns your existing Euro cylinder. You need a cylinder that has a little bit of tail sticking out of the inside and turns smoothly without jamming. If the key is already hard to turn, the U200 won't fix that, it will just struggle with it. Installation is very simple. First place the mounting bracket over the inside of the cylinder and tighten the screws using the included screwdriver. Then align the U200 lock module with the bracket and secure it using the three screws provided. Next insert the battery module into its slot inside the lock, making sure it clicks into the correct position. Then add the plastic cover and that is it, the hardware installation is complete. Let's move on to requirements number two before buying, hub and ecosystem requirements. First option is the car ecosystem. With the M3 hub you get thread plus matter, full remote control of the lock, automations and firmware updates. Basically the complete U200 experience. Now you might be wondering about the older Akara Hub M2. The M2 is a Zigbee plus IR hub and it got a matter update but it does not have thread. That means it can't talk directly to the U200 which is a matter over thread lock. So even if you see the M2 in your system, for the U200 you should treat it as not supported. For full control, remote access and automations on the Akara side, plan for the M3. Option B, direct matter, thread, Apple or Google. The second option is to skip the Kara Hub completely and use the lock directly in a Matter plus Thread ecosystem. For that you need a device that is both Matter controlled and a Thread bar border router. For example an Apple TV 4K or a HomePod Mini for Apple Home, some newer Google Nest uh, or other Matter Thread hubs on the market. In that case you add the U200 straight into the Apple Home or Google Home and then you can share it to Home Assistant via Matter integration. All right, now let's go through the pairing process. Even though I don't have the Kara M3 hub, I'm using the M2 here, and the steps in the Kara app are basically the same for both hubs. On your smart lock module, you will find two pairing codes. One is for the Kara home app, and one is for your Matter ecosystem. Once you open the Akara Home app, it will automatically detect the U200. Just scan the QR code, follow the on-screen instructions, and the lock will pair over Bluetooth. Next, the app will ask you to set an admin password, and you can also enroll a fingerprint right away. The U200 has a few useful features here, like one-time passwords for visitors, temporary access codes, auto-lock, silent mode, and of course, you can add NVC tags or additional fingerprints for your family. At this stage here, it will ask you to connect to an Akara hub. In my case, I have the M2 hub, so it won't work. If you have the M3, follow the instructions on the screen. After pairing, the app runs a quick calibration. It asks you to open and close the door while the motor turns the cylinder. So the U200 can learn the exact lock position and how far it needs to rotate. It only takes a few seconds and once the calibration is done, the lock knows where fully locked and fully unlocked are and can move there reliably every time. For Home Assistant integration, you need the companion app. Just go to Settings, Devices and Services, scroll down to Matter, Add Device, Add the, know if it's new and you need to scan the QR code. Then follow the instructions and wait for the device to pair to Home Assistant. Once connected you'll get the entity and the controls in Home Assistant and you can use it straight away for automations and you can remotely connect to the uh, smart door lock. So after using the Kara U200 for about four months I can say it's been a really solid smart lock. 
I haven't had any issues, it works smoothly, the fingerprint reader is fast, the keypad is responsive and everything just feels reliable. The smart features are great too, one-time passwords, temporary codes, automatic locking, silent mode and NFC tags all work exactly as they should. And with Home Assistant through Matter, the control is quick and easy to automate. I still use the Kara app for updates, but for daily use, Home Assistant has been perfect. Overall, the U200 has been stable, easy to use, and a great upgrade to my door. If you want a smart lock that just works, this is a strong choice. If this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Feel free to leave a comment as well. Let me know what smart lock you're using and how your experience has been. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.